morning. Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. For us to bear fruit para kuno kita magapamunga iyang pulungan. And this is a painful process because there are some areas in our lives that needs to be pruned. There are some character, some issues, some old self that has to die for us to continue to grow. But Jesus said, you are already pruned. You are all cleansed already. All you have to do, church kita, ginapro na ta sa ginoo. O ginlua na ta. But for us to bear fruit, we must remain in the vine. We are the branches. Jesus is the body. And we are the part of the body. For us to bear fruit, we have to remain in Jesus. We have to stay in the church. There's no other way for us to bear fruit. For Christ said, apart from me, you can do nothing. You cannot bear fruit by yourself. Mau yung tanga, wala ko kasi ba, Father? Na-bless mo din noon ko. Oops! Apart from Him, who is the true vine, and we are the branches, kung saan nga lang ka, nakaseparate ka sa punuan, imposible mamunga ka. So may so on, we must bear fruit. But what kind of fruit does the Lord looks for us? God wants us to mamunga ta. And according to Galatians chapter 5, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the fruit that the Lord Almighty wants us to bear. The fruit of love. The fruit of joy. Ang pauta na malipayon pa ba ka ng alagad sa ginoo? Is it the intensity of your joy the same as the joy that you felt when you experienced your first love to God? Pariha ba na ang imong gugma sa dihang ikaw unang na gugma sa ginoo? How about your faithfulness? How about your gentleness? Gentle ka ba? Or do you have patience? Or sige lang tapang asaba? Sige lang tag kasuko. Kung dili man ta sige pangasaba, kung dili man ta sige kasuko, basing kita po sige kasabaan. Kay badlungon kayo ta. You're not gentle enough. And above all, self-control. Naabatay pagbugong sa tungang gulingon. Nani sa last period, this is very important. If you don't have self-control. That is why, God wants us to be prone. And those areas in our lives has to be burned. It has to be thrown to the fire. My son, why God requires all of this? Because the Lord knew that you will not happy, we will not be happy if we will not bear fruit. Kung malipayon ka, ah, kung kristohanon ka, Dugay na ka ng alagad sa ginoo, apan wa ka na munga. The Lord is not pleased because you are not serving the purpose. And you will not be happy either. Why? Because there is no result. Walay resulta ang atong pagkristuhanon. Kana lang giing ng tanga, mag-share ta sa gospel. Pabe, nakuta na ta sa tong agulig. Pila naging kabuok ang imong na sharean sa gospel, na sharean sa pulong sa ginoo, o niya, nakitaanin mo nga na anas sa simbahan niya, nag-grow na siya. De, let us evaluate ourselves. May mga nasi di konsunil, kaya tulog ka buong asad anak. O, nanay yung anak, nanay yung prutas, di ko na arsinyo. 
Diba? E nga, sure, sure, gina pader, kaya akong mga anak, o niya akong mga apo. That's good! <laughs> diba? So, I hope di lang ta mag-limit na, na nga, ah, mag-Muslim lang may dami pader, kung mo na istorya, paanak kayo mo na hindi eh. Magingita lang may lima kabuka asawa. Dili, sad. Our lives must be a testimony. Must be a walking Bible. When the people sees us, they see Christ in us. That is why one of the beautiful description of the priesthood is the impersona Christi, especially when we are in that table. We are the Christ. But that is why ang priest is the sacrificial image of Christ. We do the sacrifice and we are the sacrifice. May so on, the only way to glorify Him is through our fruits, through our works. Mawagin naman yung tanga, adili naman importante ang works, ops. Faith without work is what? It's dead. It's nothing. That is why God requires you and me, you and me, ako ikaw, we really have to bear fruit. And, kana nga pagpamunga, it should be progressive. Every day, every week, every month, every year, we have to bear fruit. Please stand.